Continuamos con esta cobertura del EDC 10 años y evidentemente lo están viendo en pantalla, es una superestrella. Sometimes if you look up the sky, you can see the stars, but sometimes the stars get closer than you think. And this is the case. Let's welcome to the biggest star, Steve Aoki. How do you mean, man? Thank you ¿Cómo very estás? Much. Uh, muy bien. How do you feel to be here in Mexico uh, once uh, again? I, I love it. It's my one of my favorite places to be in the whole world. My favorite crowd in the whole world. And uh, first time playing EDC in Mexico. What do you feel for, for Mexican crowd? It's the best crowd. It's my, it's my favorite. It's like the, that's why I play like I played all over Mexico. Okay. Like I mean I don't just play like in Guadalajara. Mexico City, Guadalajara, Monterrey. I mean I play all over Aguas Calientes, Leon, uh, Chihuahua, uh, Sinaloa. Okay, a lot of places. Juarez, Tijuana, Mexico. I'll be everywhere. Like I played all over. Because I love playing in Mexico. I saw some videos that you. Well, I realized you were with the people here in EDC. Yeah. You you say hi to just to the people that they were dancing and jumping. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what I'm saying. The crowd is like so loving. You know, I follow love. So wherever love finds me, I find I find it. So and I find it here in Mexico. How many cakes you are gonna throw today? <laughs> uh, I hope it's my. I mean, I I think they usually give me a ten. I Ten hope, cakes. I hope, but here I need like 100 cakes. <laughs> I need 100 cakes here. I'm like that. That a lot. Yeah, I'm like probably more than 100 people want to get caked in the crowd. So there, there are a lot of people yeah. waiting that moment. Yeah. You know, it's like the like God is touching them, but with a cake. Yes, it's people <laughs> love the cake, and at my shows they really want it. And so. how how do you prepare yourself, please, for the EDC? So this was a, um, it's a special set for Mexico, and I have three artists joining me on stage and two of them i think like one of them is going to be a brand new record okay. so another dj and two more singers and these are songs that are from mexican artists so i think this is going to be very special i know i don't, I don't, I don't, want, I don't, I don't want to say the name yet but it's a lot it's not live right? really do you know what to say because i know there's the, oh, the a surprise oh, 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 yeah. uh is it besame mucho song yeah so yeah so uh mariana bow mariana bow she's gonna join me we're gonna do that But also, um, is, it, is it live or no? No, no, no. Oh, so That's I, why I, I'm yeah. telling that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. I have Nata coming, Nata Yalcano. Oh, my yeah, God. So, we have two songs together. Oof. Nata yeah, yeah, Aoki yeah. And, uh, and Kong 2.0. And I have Angel Aguilar. A lot of Mexican people. Yeah, yeah. So, Angel Aguilar, we made a song together called Evita My Own Cafe. But it's, it's made it from a classic song from yeah. the 80s. But that everyone will know. You achieved a yeah. lot of things. So what's next for you? What's the next dream when you oh, like, have so everything? Many dreams, so many dreams. So much more to do. This is just the beginning. I really feel like the it's beginning. Like, yeah, yeah. But you're a legend. No, no. I, just, I, I got a lot more <laughs> to go, man. I got a lot more to go. I'm not. I'm not. I'm like. I'm at five percent. What's your uh, ideal uh, crowd? What do they need to have to be the perfect crowd? They have to be Mexican. Oh my God! I'm not kidding you. Mexicans could show the world how to be a crowd. And I can I can understand, you know, all that passion, all that love that they have, because they are waiting for a lot of time and they are waiting for you. And that's a, a magical moment. Yeah, and is. how did you handle all this energy when you are up on the stage? They are dancing, they are waiting your drops. How do you feel? How do you handle all this journey, a, musical journey? It's the, it's the greatest high one can experience. It's being on the stage and being able to communicate and receive that kind of that love. It's the greatest high Steve, in the world. And I think this is like a question, a personal question. When do you take a rest? I mean, I, I saw your Instagram post and you are always playing in a club, in a festival, in Australia, and then in Japan and come on. This is what I love to do. <laughs> so I'm going to give my life to my fans. I prefer this if I have to choose. And you're super energetic. Yeah. Oh my God, I admire you that. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here and taking these minutes and talking with us. Yeah. Finally, do you want to say something to your Mexican fans? I love you so much. Thank you for your support, your love, passion, uh, and that you support my music. That's the most important thing. Uh, thank you. Esto lo que están viendo es real, un sueño hecho realidad. Steve Aoki, uno de los headliners de esta edición de los 10 años aquí en la Estación Naranja, en todas partes. Pontexa.